the fuels are within the pressure vessel, so one way or the other, radioactive materials are coming out, may have come out, it may still be coming out. That is the understanding we have about the current situation. I'm Oda of Sankei newspaper. Related to the power plant about the Fukushima Daini power plant, emergency was announced after the uh, earthquake. What is the current state as a Fukushima Daini power plant? About the situation of the Fukushima Daini power plant, we have been giving reports. The current status of Fukushima Daini power plant is that the cooling, uh, a good cooling has been achieved. It is in the state where cooling operation is possible, both for the fuel and for the spent fuel pool. The cooling that is currently achieved is the same level with when it is in the normal operation, and the operation is halted. And normally, in the nuclear power plant, there are several backup systems for cooling. And when one cooling system fails, another system may be switched on. So there are redundancies in the cooling operation. And because there is a damage in this redundancy of cooling system, Although fuel status is not a problem, the secondary and tertiary backup system is now in the process of restoration. About the shipment of food products, the vegetables, the Governor of Tohoku and Kanto requested the control of vegetable shipment be broken down into specific areas rather than for a whole prefecture. Do you have any plans to discuss that? Well, we are aware that it is better to have the breakdown plans for shipment control. But on the other hand, safety will have to be uh, ensured. So how specific will we be able to monitor? How much data can we collect? That will have a lot of implications in what we can do within the uh, range where we can ensure safety. We would like to try to see the further breakdown. Japan's Chief Cabinet Secretary, Yukio Edano. Now, at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, radioactive water found in and outside the reactor buildings is delaying work to restore the cooling functions. Progress has been made with restoring electricity. Lighting was switched on again in the control room of the number four reactor on Tuesday. But there has been little progress made in removing the highly radioactive water from the basements of the turbine buildings in the number one, two, and three reactors. The plant operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, believes it's highly likely that water in the turbine building and an underground tunnel near the number two reactor has come from the same source. Earlier, Japan's Independent Nuclear Safety Commission said it believes that partially melted nuclear fuel is the source of highly radioactive materials found in water in the turbine building. TEPCO says water found in the underground tunnel near the number one reactor may have been from tsunami waves. We think water in the tunnel is not mixing with water in the number one reactor turbine building. The company says if the water in the number one reactor's tunnel is safe after analysis, they will consider releasing it into the sea. TEPCO is studying where to store the polluted water and how to remove the radioactive substances. But the company says it's not sure if conventional methods can effectively treat the highly contaminated water. The science ministry says that levels of radiation in seawater near the Fukushima Daiichi plant are still higher than normal but are on the decline. The ministry has been collecting seawater samples 30 kilometers off Fukushima Prefecture since March 23rd. 
It began the research after a high density of radioactive substances was detected in seawater near the plant's drain outlets. The ministry said 1.5 to 3.9 becquerels of radioactive cesium-137 per liter were found in seawater samples taken at four locations on Sunday. The amounts are 1,000 to 2,600 times higher than those measured in the same area two years ago. But the current levels are only one-fifth to one-tenth of those detected on March 23rd. The density of radioactive iodine-131 is also decreasing. It now stands at 5.4 to 15 becquerels per liter. Experts say cesium-137 is not directly absorbed into fish through gills, but some species can accumulate the element by eating plankton and smaller fish. They say radioactive substances are eliminated from fish in several weeks. This time we leave you with the footage taken on Tuesday morning at Kamaishi, Iwate Prefecture. Kamaishi was hit hard by a tsunami in 1896, so the village built one of the deepest breakwaters in the world, but a devastating tsunami destroyed the port city again after over a hundred years. You can see shells of buildings, but its contents are gone. This is NHK World. I'm Keiko Kitagawa in Tokyo. Please stay tuned.